No details right now. The New York City Police Department says the man accused of the subway bombing has been charged with supporting an act of terrorism. CBS News reports a suspect claimed to be inspired by ISIS, but at this point, authorities believe he acted alone. CBS 4's Meg Oliver has the latest from New York. Under the watchful eye of the NYPD, commuters were back in the underground walkway this morning where the botched explosion took place. 27 year old Aikayat Ula is facing terrorism charges, accused of detonating a crude pipe bomb during the height of New York's rush hour Monday morning. He suffered burns. Five other people also have minor injuries. I think what we saw yesterday was something that could have been far, far worse. NYPD Deputy Commissioner John Miller told CBS this morning that the immigrant from Bangladesh who was living in Brooklyn appeared to be financially stable and was not known to authorities. He's um, somewhat characteristic of what we've been seeing across the world, uh, which is uh, somebody who turns up one day um, out of the blue. The attack took place underground the world's busiest bus terminal. Close to six million people ride the New York City subway every day. The incident comes less than two months after a man used a truck to mow down pedestrians in Manhattan. New Yorkers we spoke to are determined not to let terrorists disrupt their lives. It doesn't affect me as much that uh, to change my decision of taking bus or driving to the city. Ula came to the U.S. in 2011 on a visa available to some relatives of American citizens. President Trump says family visas are incompatible with national security and is calling for immigration reform. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York. Well, Ula has a wife and young child in Bangladesh. Authorities are speaking to his family there to see what they might find out about his activities.